in this video I had only 3 hours to build a foundation and a metal shed, time was of the essence. So I was finishing up cutting these tree limbs so squirrels don't hang out up there and drop acorns on top of my shed. Crazy me, always pushing the limits, decided to only build a metal shed by myself. And doing all of this before my wife came back home with our son. They were visiting his abuela and all dads know once they come back home, the project ends. So I was in a rush. Why didn't I wait until another day you ask? Because when you're a DIYer, you always have a thousand projects stacked up on top of each other. So you do what you can and when you have the opportunity. I had a few hours to get everything done. So perfect. Let's get to work. Did I mention the ducks always come to say hello? Sometimes I feel like Ace Ventura with all this wildlife. And don't let me get started on the stray cats. My wife and I agreed it was more sanitary to have a separate shed for my tools, pesticides, and yard supplies. So this is what I bought. Let's get into it. This is how the foundation turned out. There is a mix of 24 by 24 pavers and bricks that I had lying around the house from the previous owner. I was extremely happy with this foundation, but check this out. I first had the pavers here, thinking that this would be a good idea for a driveway extension, but then I thought, now that looks dumb. So I took them out and moved them to this location. Let me know in the comments if I should have left them there in the driveway and just bought extra 24 by 24 pavers from Home Depot. So now that my foundation is built, I'm looking at my watch and I'm hoping my wife stays out for at least one more hour with my son so I can get the metal shed built before they come home. The wind was picking up so that made the project a lot more fun of course. I had to use anything I could to prop up the wall. I was using boots and metal poles from the shed so that way the wind didn't blow the wall over. I'm thinking, great, I should have just hired my buddy to come help, but no, I wanted to be the solo DIYer for the YouTube video. Oh well, next time. I'm making good progress, but I warn you, these metal sheds have 10,000 screws and they're a pain to install. I definitely prefer the plastic sheds, they're faster and easier to build in my opinion, but metal sheds are hundreds of dollars cheaper. So if it's not in your budget to get a plastic weatherproof shed like the one I have, then you can work with only what you can afford. By the way, if you'd like to see how I built my lifetime 8x12.5 foot plastic shed, then click on this video here. So this is the final build. I made it on time. Thank goodness. My wife just arrived with my son and she bought my favorite meal, teriyaki bento box. I'm loving this day so far. The metal shed looks nice. It fits perfectly on the foundation I threw together, fits all my tools perfectly. My wife and I are extremely happy with this build. But I will admit, this is my first and last metal shed build. I prefer plastic honestly, it feels sturdier, and if you can wait another month to afford a plastic shed, spend the money. It'll save you time and headache in the long run. If you like this video, check this one out where my neighbor and I rebuilt our fence and I built a coralito for my son. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.